The following demo sequence provides a brief overview of some of IMPACT's key features. In this sequence, we're going to take a look at the IMPACT Design Components Library. Put simply, IMPACT Design Components are reusable packaging parts which contain inbuilt intelligence and they're used to speed the creation of custom structural designs. In this example, I'm going to draw a gravity fed dispenser unit starting with a blank workspace and using a combination of design components and impacts drafting and trim toolset. I'll begin by selecting a main panel's design component from those I have available. If I can't find what I'm looking for here and have internet access, I can go online to impactcad.net and browse the online design components library for alternative options. A simple drag and drop process starts the design components wizard and immediately prompts me for a material type. Having selected a material type, I'm prompted for some internal dimensions. The panel is drawn and I'm free to place it anywhere within the workspace. Next, I return to the components library and this time select a glue flap. When I locate it to the side of the main panels, I don't have to zoom in on the drawing as it snaps into place regardless. Note that the left hand cut line in the panel has automatically changed to a crease line. I'll return to the components library for a third time to select a suitable base style. All I have to do is associate the base with the main panels and the components inbuilt intelligence will take care of the rest. You will see that it has automatically redefined cut lines as crease lines and offset geometry appropriately to match the selected material. At this point I'm going to begin working on the top panels. First of all, I'm going to use one of Impact's offset tools to create the design's main dispenser opening. I'll do this with the tool set in interactive mode so I can preview the effect as I'm going along. You'll see that I'm constantly receiving feedback from the cursor about the size of the panel and a single click converts the preview into geometry. I'm now going to select one of Impact's circle tools and with the smart snap turned on, draw a circle within the constraints of two intersection points. Next, I'm going to use another of Impact's offset tools in conjunction with one of the inquire tools to determine the size of the front face locking panel. Drawing a line projected from an intersection point at the centre of the circle, I'm able to terminate it by selecting an intersecting vertical line, but again without having to zoom in and out. Using Impact's powerful trim tools, I can quickly remove any unwanted geometry, then copy and mirror the selected entities.
One final copy, mirror and tidy up, and all that remains for me to do is to return to the components library and make a number of final additions to complete the structural design. First, I'm going to add a thumb cut to the centre of the main dispenser opening. And finally, I'm going to add the male and female components of a postal lock. At this point, I can view the design in 3D by opening the 3D creator and with a single click, selecting a base face. Once in the 3D layer, I can check that the design works as intended. I can also introduce artwork into the design directly through the Impact Explorer by locating the relevant artwork file and adding it to the list of materials. At this point I have the option to output the design as a bitmap in an interactive format such as U3D or as a video animation. <laughs> 